Okay, welcome back. I'm Todd. I'm, really, I'm Toad Painting, and we're we'll painting this guy again. So today, we are going to be struggling, or I'm going to be struggling with uh, non-metallic copper, I think. So, be a lot of uh, just testing. My camera in the way? Is something wrong with my camera? Well, like you're holding it straight on. But oh, I have the camera a little. Totally Is that better? Actually, also I should turn lights on. Yes. How about that? How's it going, Zulu? There we go. A little better, easy to see. White looks a little bleached out, but at least the... Uh... Not bad, not bad. Doing okay over here. It's a little warm. It's a little... Yeah, a little stifly. Warm today, yeah. Don't know why. It's like 24 degrees, and it's like... It's like 26 now. No, tomorrow? Maybe. I'll have to check. Either way, it's too hot too hot indeed. Alright, so this guy, I'm gonna try out just, I'm gonna test, huh? I'm gonna be testing out non-metallic basically on this part right here, then once if I get a nice recipe, I'm gonna do all of the backpack basically in the other part, and then I think, well, I'll see how it goes from there. But I gotta first figure out kind of what I'm gonna do, and find all the pretty colors. So, Ew. How about now? I turned up the music browser. It's too too quiet? Yeah, not here. Okay. It just the music volumes are different. There's like a really long delay today between like video. Oh, okay. Like 30 seconds though. Hey, well. Just so you know. Cool. So we'll go, let me just find a spot for this guy. Alright, so let me just pick up my picture. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a reference picture for somebody else's non-metallic. I'm gonna try to make my own based off of their stuff to eyeball it. So I'm going to bust out some mouth white base. I'm just gonna work on this little dragon for now. And I'm also gonna grab oh I moved it, didn't I? Here we go. Uh, blue tack. The, uh, the backpacks don't rip off all the primer and stuff like that. That's one of my points where I keep them going touchy. Okay. Get my water in a nice position. <laughs> and just do a little bit of base good. And then I'm gonna start shading and stuff like that and see how it works. And so I'm gonna go for like a nice red copper. Let's see how that turns out, this guy. I guess while I'm waiting for that, I can just start working on some other parts. Because guys, what do you call it again? His, it's like a, it's like a, I don't want to say like armpit tassel, but it's kind of what it is. I don't actually know what it is. Call it an armpit tassel or armpit tassel? Calls out, I guess, sees it. But I guess it's like a, a frilly bit. I don't know what else you would call it. I'm sure it has like a proper name because it's like a kind of like a Roman kind of style armor. Have those dangly bits with the studs in them. But Do you need to zoom in a bit, or is this fine? I think if you zoom in more, you're going to be off the camera. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing right now, so that's the desired Yeah, hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. 
can also just start describing it for you. For the visually impaired. Just like um, applying paint to the model via brush and watching it dry. Okay. Now the second thin coat onto this part where I'm going to try out the non-metallic. I haven't done a copper ever, so I'm, it might take me a while to find out exactly how I'm going to do it properly. So let's see. I'm looking at a few other types of uh, non-metallics. Some are very red, some are very brown. I like the red ones, but I can make the brown one the easiest. It's almost like gold. Um, let me just try this. Alright, so I'm gonna, normally when I do like a, my non-metallic gold, I'll do I'll start with a base coat of sulfuric yellow and then shade it with some bloodstone. But today I'm gonna try it with um, mouth white and some and shading it with a mix of uh, Bloodstone and uh, Scorn Red base. Here's the Scorn Red, here's the um, Bloodstone. I'm just gonna see if I can make a, a slightly more reddish brown than what I've got right now. Based on what I'm looking at right now. And then maybe. Hmm. Let's see if I can. It doesn't go very dark, depending on how, the kind of image I'm looking at. Let's see. Alright, so I'm going to do some two brush blending. So before I start, let me find a nice brush that I'm going to use as my blending brush. It doesn't have to be that very uh, detailed. It's, like, it's pretty blunt and not very good. It's older brushes. And I use this big fat number four brush to apply it. Okay. Here's my first shade. Yeah, it's really warm. You can kind of see where it just dried on the edge very quickly there. And then it's using a pretty thin... Jesus. A little too muggy today. Well, I might like it, want to keep it this kind of brown, and then as I go deeper, darker color, I'm going to go for more red, I think. Let me see how that works out. At least when it's this muggy and hot, it's going to dry really fast, so I can try different variations. I'd love to have this, you know, finish in, like, the first try, but... Oh, it doesn't look that way. Well, let's see. Maybe for the uh, next one, I'm going to use Bloodstone. Let's just get a bunch of Bloodstone. And then mix it with some Sanguine Base. I don't want to mix too much in, but I'm doing exactly that because I don't want to. It's gonna get real annoying to try to replicate that stuff. Okay. Now it still hasn't dried in the corners yet. Let me just try over here. Saturated just because it's copper. I like to keep my coppers for this and red and warm. Yeah, 
I'd say the sky is not large enough for <laughs> Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's got a lot of detail. I mean, he's uh, <laughs> he's one of the most ornate guys I've done in a while. Yeah, he's definitely many, 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 many hours of work. But well, it's kind of funny because everything's a little different every time. Okay, maybe let's do some highlighting now. This guy is, oh, he's like my fifth or fourth, that's my fifth session. Yeah. Not quite, like the last session was like, like just over an hour. Okay. So now I'm going to take some pure white. Ooh, it's a little soapy. All right. Pure white, and I'm going to add a mix of my mouth white to it and just see if I can get a little more brighter. Just... A little more contrast in the, on these parts. Are you going to be saying to the things that it's not Altarius next week? Yeah, I'm probably not going to be finishing. Well, I'll have to probably do them off screen. Okay. Interesting. Because you said you'd paint horse fur on screen. Who? Paint who, sorry? The horse fur. Which one? The Mountain Fear of Fortune Oh, yeah. I definitely need to do those guys soon because they are. Uh... Yeah, they have a. It's actually not too bad. I just think it needs a bit more. A deeper color. So next, the final shade I think I'm going to do is, what's this, umber umber and then some sanguine highlight, or sanguine base. And try that as the final shade. Provided this is already dry. It looks like it's pretty muggy right now. Let's try that. It's a very deep shade, it's not black, but it's pretty saturated for a, a very dark color. So it will blend kind of nice without making it look chalky or chunky. Might be shade with pure black, it gets a little chunky looking. It's a little more saturation. It's actually not bad. It's not how the example turned out, but it's interesting way of doing it. Okay. Now how am I going to... Okay, let's reapply some highlights. Reclaim some areas. Just figure out where I want the highlights to go. I guess the most important part here is wait for the base coat to dry. So I just, oh, he's a creature. Yeah. So I try to highlight this part. And the white is kind of bled out all the surrounding area because it was all wet still. 
it's not that muggy apparently. It won't dry instantly. Close though. It's pretty hot out. Okay. I'm not using the best tip brush. Let's find a better brush. For my older ones. This one's a bit better. And another important thing is to make sure your brush is always fully wet. Not like soaking, but like damp, just so it doesn't... Terrible things happen. Paint drying too fast. I'll lose your brush. Okay, let's see. going. It's not, not perfect, but... Okay, let's add this part of the weight. Let's see if we can make it look a little bit more metallic. Let's see. Okay, it's actually not bad. Especially in this part. Copper, I've always liked copper, I just I never have bought the right colors for it because I never really use it that much. Everything uses silver or gold, never really copper. Mostly just complaining right now. Um, that's actually not bad for a first try. Now, if only the paint will stay wet. think. Kind of like how it turned out. I think I could do the, uh, the rest of that. Now is it going to look too much like, or is it, it going to stand out too much? Because he's going to have a bunch of orange parts on him. So it might help tie it together. He's going to have an orange diamond or gem here, and he's going to have these the ends of his staff are going to be like this bright glowing kind of like power up in kind of orange glow, so it might help tie in that part. Okay, well... I don't think I'd press on the ends of his stuff. I broke this part off and I pinned it. Don't worry. It's pretty sturdy. Okay, I'm just make sure there's no blue tack remaining here. Because that would really suck if I paint a blue tack. blue tack and kind of stay sometimes. Unwanted uh, guest gets into crevices and stuff. Alright, so I want to paint here, here, and that part. 
Any other parts I want to? Let me just try this part. So I use this part as a brace for my finger. Alright, now I'm going to look at uh, the Forge World image and just make sure I'm, there's no other bronze places it should have. his grenades, his random grenades, which are probably the size of people's heads. Yeah. <laughs> it's the comparison. Where's, where did my cultists go again? They're more than just a grenade. Yeah, they're almost the size of the head. It's like the size of his brain at the very least. You could just like, kill a guy by just like, throwing a grenade at, his, at somebody. Um, okay, what else is... uh? So... Oh, his top of his head, it looks like it's got that, but it's totally fine. I'm probably gonna make his staff silver, and then maybe this part purple? Same with his staff, and then those will be orange. That might be okay. Okay, back to this part. Let's bust out. So this is actually silver right here. Yeah, I won't worry about that. Alright. Do I care? Do I want to make this... This part on the model is actually supposed to be the same color. But that might just be weird. No, I should probably make that gun also. Just because, like, if I have so much silver here, because he's got so much silver trim on his armor here, it might just look... Oh, but he's also got the glow, too. No, because I'm making this orange the same as that, so I... This is gonna be very orange. I don't want to have the orange on the uh, on the copper. So then, orange. This is gonna be the red leather here. So I'm gonna make this silver, just because orange and copper is not gonna look good together. It's gonna be very too too orangey here. So this is gonna be silver. All right. He's, yeah, he's... I, uh, I quoted a lot for him, so he's gonna get his money's worth, I might say. He's not fancy. Yeah, he's, he's the fancy dancy version. I also paint a little slower on stream. It's just. I think this one almost needed like the breaks in between to like evaluate and make decisions. Yeah, he's he's a big detailed boy. Definitely. Hopefully the client will be super happy. With him. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I hope so. I made some slight changes from what the concept was. And he liked all the changes that I made, so I'm sure he'll like the rest of the changes. I have a decent eye for color, so. As long as he doesn't like, hate non metallic copper. Everybody has their own, you know, likes and dislikes. I make sure I don't like paint. Like, when people say, like, paint it any way you like it, and then make sure they're not painting the guy's least favorite color, right? Oh, am I like, am I like in the dark? Am I a uh, super villain now? Yeah, and then like the light bar will <laughs> My evil layer? The evil toad painting layer? Yeah. <laughs> Need lamp on this side. Just, just a less of that effect. Yeah, well, it's. Next time. It's because of the stupid sun. It's just on the perfect time of day that makes it just. the curtain super bright and. Dull up my face. It's fine when you're it's just like when you lean back, just 
Yeah, it's fine. I'm not too worried. I'm not painting my face, so it's not a huge deal. I'm not a face painter. I'm gonna draw scales on my face. No. God. I don't think I want to handle that many children painting all their faces. You wouldn't be doing adults, you'd be doing like children in their birthday parties. See, you say that, but... Oh my god. I also don't want to do adults' faces, but I also don't want to do children's faces. I guess it's like the parents of the children are getting face painted with the children. And then some strange people. I worked in the toy industry exactly long enough to appreciate that. <laughs> strange parents and the strange people. Not strange parents as much as just, like, strange people. Any examples? Um, like, the My Little Pony fans that, like, stalked one of the voice actresses who was, like, a child and got, like, banned. That's a good bannable offense. I mean, I definitely recommend that kind of banning. Yeah. Because you don't know where that's going to lead. It's probably going to be very terrible. Or, like, the adult serious Lego collector who just comes in and, like, stares at the wall of Lego. Okay. Yeah. That's, um, interesting. I mean, as long as you're not touching it, I guess, or just... Have I told you the story about the one person who bought Lego, steamed the boxes open, filled it with, like, fake off-brand Duplo and then returned them. Oh no. What happened to that? How'd you guys catch them? Okay, so to get points on your purchases, you had to like register your address and phone number and stuff. Oh. So we had all of this person's information. So they got a visit from the cops and then had to write a letter about how sorry they were. As long- also on this top- This was an adult. like. Yeah, no, but like, like... Not an older adult, like a young adult. They didn't get, like, fined or anything else. Really should have, and I don't remember them having to pay the store back either, and it was several hundred dollars worth of Lego. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Did they return the actual Lego? No, because they'd been opening... They'd been steaming open boxes and selling it on Craigslist. Like, oh, the they were making them. a lot of them. Oh. Yeah. They should at least have paid all that money back. Because it was, like, ill-gotten gains, right? Just all of it was... So this is gonna be all Adventure. silver and black here. Adventure times in the uh, wondrous land of the can. Instead of the candy kingdom, it's the uh, Lego kingdom. Much more dangerous, full of peril. I might want to tone down the uh, brightness right now. Yeah. How's that looking now? Sure, not white. red, mouth white, and a little bit of scorn red and bloodstone. Sorry, bloodstone is something I'm missing. I think I said scorn red twice there. I mean, I said a lot of it, but I didn't actually mean to say that much. This is a very dramatic time. This is a very time-sensitive painting right here, and it's really hot out, so I have less time to work with normal. So it's very apt for this uh, very key moment right now. Just saying. Chimes. 
Or you hear them in the background is tinkling away. Can you? Yeah. Let's do the sunny first. Oop. Don't want to start painting my legs. It's not good. Keep the paintbrush above my legs and waste. I don't want to paint up my fancy Cthulhu uh, shirt or my fancy pineapple. Uh, Shorts. I think I'll make the vents a different color because the uh, the dragon hydra head things are holding like a vent in their mouth, so I'm gonna probably make it like a, a black or something like that, just so it shows off the head more. Otherwise it look too much similar and I'm blending with the uh, the rest of the head, it's gonna be weird like, it's a weird shaped head to be all the same color. And it's a vent probably pumping out like whatever kind of some carbon rich smoke so it's black in it. Okay, I'm gonna go back and just do some fancier touch-ups before I start doing the darker color. This brush is way too tiny. I need a little fatter brush. It's good for like eyeballs, but not good for like the grunt work that I'm doing right now. Let's see. Nah, this brush is too good. Where's my Goldilocks brush? Let's try you. No, you're still good. I need a. I had one around here, didn't I? Alright, here we go. Here's my bullet box brush. Alright. So back to just fixing up and darkening any places where I missed, kind of. I thought it was a, a child screaming or something dying in the background. Oh, it's a child. The wonders of living in a city. Yeah. It would not be pleasant. Oh, this is my note is back. So careful not to paint it near my scale that I painted last time. Alright, All right, time for a dark color now. And this was the bloodstone mixed with the uh, sanguine high or something base. I'm just gonna make a bit more. Oh, 
that's about right. Alright, clean up my brush, and then I'm gonna start shading. I feel like I've cleaned up my brush after I've mixed. Keeps the brush cleaner longer. Okay, let me just get my blending brush proper. Nice and damp. There we go. This is mostly about speed right now. The detail kind of like doesn't. So you're doing, using a very thin amount of paint, so it kind of pools like a wash. But you're still manipulating and pushing it around with the clean brush. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of work, but as fast as possible. Before the stupid humidity sets in and makes it dry really fast. If it gets too muggy, I might just apply like a like wet down the whole area first with like a, a mixture of mixing medium and water. And that'll make the paint slow down a little bit. But it does cause other issues. It will dry a little differently because it pools. If you don't do it thin enough, it'll pool weirdly in some spots. Things can happen. So it's not a perfect solution, but it will help. Yeah, I like how that turns coming along. Very coppery for me. Talents is eyeballing paint color schemes or paint recipes. Not done there yet, but it's still drying, so I'm just go back once I've done the rest of the parts. Which tier this is? This is either my my centerpiece tier or my tier above that. I forget. Yeah. I would say he's good practice, but he's actually not. I don't actually use uh, non-metallics in my uh, competition pieces, so. I guess it's good to know, but I just don't rely on it for my pieces that I enter. piece for the bulk shading. The trick is to get rid of all the chunks and any hard edges. Sometimes it dries a little too fast, but if you get there fast enough, you can just take a wet brush and like slowly as wear away that chunk. So it's either non-existent or it's not very noticeable. Alright, while that's drying, I'm going to show off what I was making this morning. It's like a little break, a 40 minute break. I shot this first. So I'm making some more bases and stuff like that. So I'm making an Imperial Palace style base. So here's a destroyed like an imperial eagle I guess they're called and then some fancy four tiles and stuff like that. It's hard to tell what it's like. It's like too bright. And this one, not done yet obviously, but sometimes I just 
I dug in and cut a hole and put some, fill it with green stuff. And if she was gonna have to start sculpting like a, a crater in this thing to give this model some depth and as well as some natural height that it already has. I'll probably do like a little bit of statue like falling on the edge too. But that's a little bit later. These are the 50 mil bases I'm thinking of doing. And carved up the edges just a little bit. Make it a little more interesting. Okay. Let's go back to my tiny brush. Oops. I'm not bump fat. And then fix up any kind of things I missed over here. Am I out of focus when I do this? Let's try. How's that? That right, looks much better. So the final shade, so I have enough here. There we go. Should have enough. The final shade, if I remember correctly, was the umbral umber and the same being a base again. I'm just gonna make it pretty thin. So it gets everywhere where I want it to go. Recesses. Do this and then it's only going the lowest areas. I'm trying to bring it and blend it. This is where I want it to go. Paint, but I actually just did enough. 
a primary area, so it doesn't actually matter. Got a little lucky there. Make sure I don't leave any bare primer in the back area here. These are kind of like stylized in like a way. Kind of almost like dire wolves too. Like they're not really like particularly dragon or like I guess wolfine or wolfine or however you pronounce a dog. Canine? Kind of like almost like dire wolves. Like kind of like the host Stark has like their very stylized dire wolf head. Kind of like a scaly kind of fur. Kind of reminds me of. Look like snarling wolves almost. Okay. I'm not gonna turn down. Just need a bit more refining. Okay. Make sure all my brushes are very nice and clean. Because I don't want to ruin your brushes. I actually have two cups of water here. One for my uh, first batch of cleaning, and the second one much cleaner just for the second just dip and twirl. Okay. Back to my little brush. Oh, okay, it's all dried up. Also, whatever that was pretty stupid, too. People there. Please tell me it's not like Crisis Mobile. <laughs> Yes. The trike. My favorite was when that person yelled at me to shut up. <laughs> My hero. I mean, he's like driving around at 8 a.m. blasting music. Terrible music. Yeah, it's a cold day. Please go home. <laughs> Alright. But you think he lives right around the street, that's the problem. <laughs> no, but his parking garage is on the other street. Yeah, that's true. He's like to try and show off to all the other people because the other parking is in the girl, uh, like an alleyway. So This is now actually the time I bust out my much smaller brush. One of my better brushes that I don't really use much. Preserve the tips. There we go. These scales are mighty fine.
I am doing a bit of overpainting here. Brightening up a little too much because I'm going to go back over with another color and darken this area or some areas. But I'm just trying to keep the, uh, the brightness of some areas a little lighter because it keeps up the saturation. Because if you try and do a, a light color over a dark area, it kind of gives us the same kind of saturation level. But if you're doing a, a darker color over a light area, it keeps the saturation up. to have this consistent saturation levels. That's when you get a method like this to brush. Doesn't do a dark color, a light color over a dark color, it kind of looks a little chalky here, doesn't it? I just want to go back over with the dark color. Just darken this a little bit, which will have a nice very nice saturation level. And have the proper brightness. So I think all I need to do is now is just the, the second color. And I'm done. Well, okay, actually, I'll go back and do the, uh, the almost pure white combination of pure white and uh, mouth white base. Okay, so bust out you. It's like my mid-tone color base. Let's darken a few scales, especially right here. Keeps the saturation nice. How's it look on the camera? It looks pretty metallic, actually. I like it. Well, you're obligated to like it, actually. That's not true. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> I'm joking. See, I'm pretty honest. That's true. That's true. I'm just making a terrible joke. Song this is, but it's, it sounds a bit heavy ish. I think it's that whatever string instrument they have. Even my palette can't really handle this heat so well. Okay, I think those two dragon heads are done. Now let's go to the last two.
this turn down. Very surprised how well it's turned out for my first try in non metallic copper. I think it looks very coppery to me. So, very happy with what it turned out to be like. It's actually not even that bad either for like speed wise. Not too slow. Okay. Now let's bust out some more white and mix it with my mouth white. And then do the final, final highlights. And see, I was done for this section. And then maybe I'll just redo the book. Okay, so just do a little tippy tappy, tippy tappies. Mainly on the very tips of scales. Spot a little more places where I probably could use that. Get my touching up. I think some of the scales are a little misaligned. They're like overlapping in the wrong area. Like the scales that go over top of that other one. Like you can see where like shouldn't like it's kind of like overlapping the wrong area, I might say.
of stuff. So many details. I'll be here for a month straight doing all this stuff. I guess they wouldn't stop. Because here it sounds like almost done, now I'm going back and do another. Say done for that part. I take about an hour. Touching the cloak a lot, so I might want to do like the very last thing. Oh, I forgot to do this part. See, I always miss something. And this tiny little brush always. So warm and dry so fast. Let me just finish up the guy's uh, armpit tassels, I guess they're called. I mean, I don't know how I should call them. I think armpit tassels are the most accurate you can call those. Tassel wassels. Wesley tassels. It's not accurate, but very, very, very descriptive. Okay, let me first have a little break, a little stretch, a little drink. And wash out my brushes first. Dirty water looks like this. Whoop, can you? There we go. And then my clean water looks like this. Nice and clean. Almost drinkable. There's a little bit of hint of brown in there. Just finish up this guy's backpack. Yeah, that sounds like a good, a good quest for today. Okay. Let's 
Let's black out those pipes. Some of them are black. That bigger. Make sure I don't overpaint on the teeth. It's probably reason why I'm doing the black, so that the teeth are actually very visible. Make them really stand out. We navigated the first set of teeth. basically. Steel. Teeth requirement. First of all, base coating. I'm gonna double check the uh, how it's painted on the uh, I don't like that song yet. That thumbs down that bad boy. A little too slow and annoying. Okay. I just want to put me to sleep that song too. I just need to go back and touch up those teeth. Actually, the, the bottom part a little bit. Didn't really shake it out well. A little bit touching up.
have that. The mouth white eye, I'm just touching the teeth now, black of the rest. There we go. Okay. Well, let's bust out my gray, gray coat gray. Maybe smash a few things along the way. I'm gonna do all these teeth, all this jaw part once. And I'll go back and do all this silver trim on this guy's back. Because, like, all this part over here is silver, too. I'm just hopefully ignoring it right now. I'm use my tiny thin brush now. And my fire brush is mainly white, almost white. Just to be extreme. The tiniest amount of black ink. It's a little sloppy in this area, so I'm just going to use the ink to get the texture of it properly. There we go. Good enough. I'm going to go back and base coat all that area with the silver. How you doing, Kat? Okay. 
I look. You awake? <laughs> Can you go for a coffee coffee walk after? <laughs> Something <sighs> Some grace clogs. Why is it so hot out? Oh. There we go. He was happy to see me. <laughs> Not a good joke yet. Bottles to squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Does it come out? Unclog them. It's like a thing pointing, just starts bursting. Okay. Important not to ruin any of the good spots I just painted. Nice non metallic copper I just found. I'm really sad if I started painting on that. That's what I'm thinking. Definitely a strange music box. Actually, I do think all like music boxes are kind of strange. <laughs> so they're just normal music box. A nicely painted area. Rub it off. I hope it doesn't pull off the paint. It's my cause of concern right there. It hasn't done it to me before, but because it's so warm, it might start doing something stupid. Try and pull it off as fast as possible once it's done. Quality though for like a floor drill. I've seen some iffy stuff, but this is actually quite high quality. Like, no bubbles, everything's nice. Didn't have to like the spear was actually quite good too. From what I remember. No. The spear wasn't good? Okay. Took a little bit of uh, hot water, but. Yeah, it definitely took a couple passes too. Besides that, it stayed nice though, so I guess that's what's important. Yeah. You know, it probably gets bent and heated up during transit too and stuff like that. Changing temperature. Thing. So it comes from the UK to Canada, right? So it's a bit of a transit. 
probably gets very hot in the cargo compartment when it starts flying, it gets very cold, it's not heated or insulated. And all the pressure of the other parts of it, so quite a good chance of the warping in transit. Okay. Is that all the parts I care about on this backpack? Yeah. Time for a bit of highlighting. up with that black wash. Probably not a pure black wash, but it's a little bit mixed medium just to spice things up. I forgot about this part right here. Some of them strips. Steel strips right here. Little watering out. So the water just diluted it too much. <laughs> Just 
and bring out some of the edges of pure white after the wash it'll it done its course. So, a little bit of armor wash and a bit of mixing medium. Too much. The bench are quite good with the wash. Right, check the clip on the free drive. Turned out okay though. Somebody ever you've done like the wolf heads or whatever. That's a good work I can erase in like a second. Okay. I think it's time for the uh the light. Missing spots like right here. The white primer really shows up. So yeah. I'm vigilant about going in there. Lacking it out. And a few downsides of the white primer. Alright. Good 
goodness, with all that heat we have, it'll dry really fast. Much <laughs> waiting time. Okay. Are you? Well, you're actually pretty good. You're mixing with a little gray too much. All right, let's bust out some more white. Mouth white or more white, sorry. Get my best brush. It's number two. My newer ones. So let's see. How's that look? It's one of the smallest brushes I use. This bad boy. All right. Get some almost pure white. And go to town. Make sure it's pretty thin, and let's go. Let's make sure I'm not painting on a place of drying. Oh my god. <laughs> Spent too long talking, and the paint dried on my brush. It's so hot out. Always vigilant, but make sure the guys will focus where you guys. And then he's gonna go angle like this, so light's coming from this direction, so. Project TV, how's it going? Thanks. It's, it's a long, arduous journey, this guy. It's, it's, just did all the uh, the non-metallic uh, copper. Hopefully, it looks like copper to you. Because, um, like, is that copper to you? Hopefully, not gold or like brown leather hydras. <laughs> Terrible. Let's see. I'm doing copper today. I don't might just do like metallic coppers, but I thought the copper looked better than gold on this guy. Cause I know how to do I do I know how to do like non-metallic gold pretty easily, but this is the first time doing. Copper. So. Glad it turned out. I'm glad you. I'm glad somebody thinks it was a copper. 
That's a problem with non-metallics. It sometimes looks good to you, sometimes it looks like, like the wrong material. Today, Roger TV. Roger TV, sorry. Rock get, sorry. I can't see the T apparently. Rock, rock get TV. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say rock gut. This is a commission, actually. This is a. Commission piece for somebody in the States. So. I don't actually paint for myself anymore, really. It's either for other people or for uh, competitions. So I guess the closest thing I do for paint for myself is competition work. One model I like myself and then actually paint it for them. That's something interesting, but the problem is what I like to do doesn't always win competitions, so I have to basically paint it for the judges. But that's life really. The last thing I painted for myself was that Cthulhu, that chippy Cthulhu I did. I got it from Impact Miniatures. Made some great chippy stuff. I've shown that in the stream quite a few times. <laughs> Those are what undivided, I think. So they don't sound like a score, or not score, corn or razich. They're like, are they um, Abaddon's crew? No, I haven't read about chaos in forever. Because the lunar wolves were horse and stuff, but I don't even know if they're even around anymore. They also probably have changed. I'm sure. You wouldn't want to stay Lunar Wolves if you're Chaos. <laughs> He's the biggest boy. <laughs> He's like the same size of uh what's his face? Oh, the other guy painted Robo Gilliman. Or Girly Man, whatever you call him. I always thought like I always think it's weird that the new Chaos, and the new Space Marines in general, are just like bigger than the Chaos guys, because like, like, why aren't the Chaos guys like so much bigger? Like, they're like warped by Chaos, like they get all the blessings and stuff like that, and they're just like tiny compared to like, the Primaric, Primaris. It really should be like the Primaris, should be in the, like the Chaos. Like that kind of size. Cause, like the new, um, the new Bleach, uh, Plague guys, they're like, great, and, like they're bloated and stuff like that, like fat boys, and like they're, they're great. They're bigger than the Primaris, I think, for the most part. They're like, just as tall, but like wider. But then you look at the new Chaos Space Marines. I like, I love them. They're much better than the old ones, because the old ones were uh, not my cup of tea. But then, like, they're just a little, a little runty compared to the Primaris. But I guess that's the whole point. I 
I just kind of wish they maybe uh, made the uh, push the demon demon in possession stuff and whatever else demon can stuff a little more so it's just like, like space marine still for this part that change that you gotta <laughs> pump those numbers up as they say that's my personal opinion it's probably wrong yeah, okay I think I'm also I'm a mid player, not a not a space marine player. I heard some complaints about the uh, new Chaos Space Marines Terminators because like they don't come with enough parts. Like they're you want to like put like the best stuff and they only have come with so many other certain. Weapon choices, don't they? It's weird, because that's not even really like a marking ploy because it's not, it's not just bits, right? They used to, and then they stopped. So. But then again, I guess, they don't really know what's going to be. Well, they probably don't know what's good. Because they probably make the mo like the, the sprues and stuff like that before they make the books, or like before it's finalized. And so, like, they want to have enough options for everything, but then, like, I guess it'd be just too much money if they could have like, because there's so many bloody options, right? Like, if you can equip them all with like power axes, and then you have to pack equip them all with power axes in the box. So it's five power axes, and they have to give them like power fists because they're all good power fists. And then it's so basically every single option you can have. So it's like 30, 30 or 50 different like weapon options. So I guess they only give you one or two. Okay. So. How the cookie crumbles, basically. It's a limitation of those multi pose models because the new terminators are the uh, their new type, the multi pose type. Yeah, they're like, I'm not, a, I'm, I don't play Space Marines, so I don't know the fluff exactly, but it's like, um, I was talking to another Space Marine player, and he was saying it was, uh, that, that Magnus guy, you know, the, the, um, one of the, um, the Mars guys, the Admech, he basically, um, took, like, prim Primark genes and basically infused it with, like, uh, a space brain, so then you have like, a, like an holy trinity combination of like prim primark genes, like even more so than what they normally are, and like, because like, from my understanding, space brains are basically the gene seed is like the genes of the primark, so then they basically just did one step further, and then you got like, because you know primarks are normally like, what, twenty feet tall, weird like ginormous giant people, so they're kind of like a little bigger because they have more of his genes in them. But, is it Crawl the guy's name was? But yeah, like, it's like the new thing, just how, like, Gilliman had his throat cut for millions of years, and then he, uh, he woke up. They fixed it. He got stabbed somewhere, I don't know. Okay. Um, but, like, I was thinking, like, because, like, they're very, relatively new, and, like, Primarchs, Primaris Marines are, like, you know, like, genetically engineered, but then, like, you have the Chaos Space Marines, who, like, for the most part, have been alive for the 10,000 years since the Horus Heresy. <laughs> and, uh, like, they had so much time to, like, basically, like, mutate, right? Because, like, like, why aren't they more mutated? Like, I know, like, they just, like, um, what's that one guy's name? The one Chaos guy can make more Chaos Space Marines, which maybe not be so mutated, but, like... Like, seriously, like, almost every one of, like, the old guys who've been around should be, like, insane, mutated, and, like, have, like, just be, like, massive, I think. Or small. 
I guess you can go either direction. I guess also time is also weirder in the warp, isn't it? I guess you also have like the uh, the obliterators, right? Because they're kind of like this massive mutated thing, but there's not many of them. Let me just black out some things. I just don't see how the chaos are gonna get the uh, get some primaris marines. Like, how do they even do that? You're assuming it is to itself. <laughs> it is 40k. For space magic abound. I guess they have their own Primarchs around, don't they? For but they're not really like mortal anymore. Like they're not even like flesh and blood. There's demons. So like, how's that gonna work? The more badass you are at your army. <laughs> Yeah, like, like if you're so badass in your army, like, like ten thousand years is a long time to like, be fighting and pillaging. Like, because like if you fail the chaos gods, you get turned into a spawn, and if you do well, you get turned into a demon prince. So like, how's it even <laughs> mediocrity for ten thousand? Yeah, it's like so like the, all these other chaos face marines are like just being like, I haven't failed that much, but they haven't been doing that great. So it's just like, I'm just like. And there's like a, still like a lot of them, I guess. Like, yeah, space marines should be like rare, I think, and like have most like cultists and traders and stuff like that. Yeah, well, yeah, they're just spawn. Like, well, spawns can be anything. Spawns can be like humans or like dogs, even. But like, it's just like they should be like very rare and like almost like generals of the army. It's just like one or two of them, not like whole units of them. Just like, would you even keep that kind of formation when you're like? It's just, a, just an idea. Todd Bond rings. I got. I'm trying to waste my eight minutes not paint. I'm just thinking. I'm basically my whole whole point here is like they should be much more differentiated from like space brains. Yeah, well, they did, they just made new space for Chaos Space Marines, and they're cool and, and like intricate and like very nice looking, but they're just, just like spikier Space Marines. I mean, like the new Trader Guard, kind of cool. Space Marine should be possessed. That's my thought. Half demon, half human hybrids. We may not be controlled by the demons, but like, you know. Symbiotic. Just like how like, the vehicles are. Kinda cool. Yeah, it's kind of weird how, like, they haven't, um, have because the, the new book's out for Chaos Space Marines, right? And so, like, yeah, like, Demon Kin was kind of a cool idea. Like, the one of, like, the, the, the new guys coming out. Because, like, the, the, the new Chaos, the new Space Marine book is called, like, Adept of Stardust, which is, you know, rebranding and just fine, because it's still part of their, their, their thing, it's like, is very, Space Marines is very generic, right? But Adeptus and Stardust, you know, very on brand, and it kind of shows them what they are. Because they're like the Imperials, they're kind of like that, that kind of like vibe, and it's like the, the Greek, whatever, Roman kind of thing going, right? And then, like, these guys are like, you know, bloodthirsty, like, barbarians. Like, what was uh, Conan the Barbarian? Yeah, let's call them Space Barbarians. Demon Barbarians? Barbarian Demons? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, like Demon Kid, that was like a cool name. I was kind of sad they didn't keep that fleet in all the space brains. Because they're very much deep in bed with uh, 
the demons and all their ink ilk. Ilk? It's not ink, it's ilk, isn't it? Anyway. Oh. I have... Oh yeah, okay. Not quite two hours. But I think I've done the backpack anyway. I can at least post that today. I'm happy with how that turned out. Cause that head. Yeah. I'll probably do like the last stream on Friday and whatever else I don't finish I'll just do not on stream because like like the most important things I don't know I might do maybe one stream on like Monday Bonus stream? yeah we'll just like do the like the fun stuff like the staff tips so I'll do the cloak oh, cloak I want to do last though because it's so much I'm touching it so much Maybe I'll do the staff on Monday. Or, so, or no. What? Staff, staff gun tomorrow? Maybe. Oh, I'll figure that out tonight, sorry. But yeah. Yeah, next week. Tomorrow. Should I say that on there? I'll leave something in it. Yeah, pretty much all my knowledge of uh, 40k stuff is all secondhand from like people who've actually read the books and stuff like that. So, or I guess third-hand knowledge from them because they probably don't read the books. It's the same like you, like YouTube and stuff like that. So it's all being digested from other people. Anyway, thank you for watching. Tomorrow I'll be uh, streaming again, doing this guy again. We're we'll probably doing a staff, maybe even his head. Um, tomorrow at 4 o'clock, so be there, be square, so we'll be around. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>